Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now, um, now this is going to be a vinyl update and um, basically I'm just going to show all of the records I've uh, purchased recently. Um, firstly, apologies, I have been away for about two weeks I think it is um, because I was down in Norfolk for like, my holidays as you can tell I've got a little bit of a tan and, um, um, and like, I have literally just got back back again like the last like 10 minutes or so because this has arrived here which in here will is 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 uh, something very very special to me that's like, what uh, i purchased um that, like uh, quite a long time ago like it arrived actually the day that like we had left to go on holiday so um so i've not been able um, um, and i was hoping to do this video before i went away but i am um, right um rather like didn't like um, but i didn't get the chance to do that because this hadn't arrived in time i also when i was away got some other things as well for like a record shop um near my grandma's house so i'm just going to show those things first so um and um, and um, um, i was a beach for the shop before about a year ago and I um like I, I like I decided to go back because I knew that like uh, um because I knew that it was like a pretty good shop. It's called King Bee Records here in and here's the bag. It's in place. It's in Cholton, just outside Manchester. But it's really 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 good shop. So the things I got from there were um seven inch single I got was this Paul McCartney Young Boy. This is picture disc and um and and this was only three pounds believe it or not three pounds for this i don't i don't i had already actually picked up like all the albums what like, i was wanting to get and i was looking through like the beatles singles section and like and, and i could and i could just like the usual stuff like all like, the usual beatles singles and wings singles and stuff like stuff i'm not really that interested in in that game but then i did see this and i was like wow I, wow i'm definitely having that so um so this is pitch disc here um from the flaming pie album song young boy um, um, this, this is, um, one of three singles, I think, what were released from that album. They also have The World Tonight, which is, which is, um, slightly easier to get than this one here, and Beautiful Night, which is, um, quite hard to get. And, like, this is, like, alright, um, and, 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 like, this is, um, um, right, uh, and, 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 fairly easy to pick up. I mean, like, I mean, like, I did, but it was just, it was just a complete surprise. Did, did, didn't expect to see it at all. And for three pounds, it was like because I because this normally goes for about ten pounds, like on like um like on like eBay, and like not paying that for a little, for a little seven inch um disc. So onto the actual albums I got. So we got the McCartney interview here. Um, this was only four pounds, and I'd seen it about before. Uh, um, but it's basically like an interview with Paul McCartney where he talks about a lot of like things. Quite interesting interview because he doesn't really because um because he sort of like, like um. Well, like, talks about different things than what like he would normally talk about right now. Because I found like 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 more recent interviews of Paul, like he's always on like sort of autopilot telling like the same old stories. Whereas on here, like he like and um, it sounds like actually like into it and like and um, like into what like they're talking about. So this was this is a really good McCartney interview. I must like recommend the old and um, there's another one as well. What is um what's well, quite a recent one actually done. I think it was Nerdist podcast. What he done? That's a fantastic interview with Paul McCartney. So definitely, if like you're a fan, do check that out because because like, it was like fantastic. I like, interview with Paul. Um, other albums I got here was um was I was actually look, um right, so I was actually like the Simon and Garfunkel related stuff I got. So um I was actually looking to get the first two albums, but like still didn't have them. I've been looking to get them for about five months now, but like um but I've had no luck. But I did get this one though here. This is the um, the soundtrack to this is the soundtrack to the film The Graduate, and this features the songs of Simon and Garfunkel on here, as well as some other um, bits and pieces here. And um, it says like additional music by David Gru Grushin. So um, right, so there's also some like music from like the film as well. But this is definitely like a cool item to have, like one that like, I actually sort of like um rather like, forgot about really in like like, in, like the Simon and Garfunkel collection so I thought that I'd, I'd, I'd best get this one here. Another one that I've sort of forgotten about in like um um I live like the Paul Simon collection but I um but when I saw this I was like oh yeah I've I've still to get a lot on vinyl. So it is the Paul Simon um songbook here. This is basically just early early versions of like of like the songs he had and that written like at the time before they were recorded by Simon and Garfunkel. So there's a chat list in there you see he's done um, it's on the front there as well. I am a rock is on here. Um, April comes through all the sounds of silence. Just sort of Paul Simon with his guitar, and like these are like the really really good versions of this album here. Um, right, so I have to recommend that. Next one here, I've got my first ever Eric Clapton record, and um, I know um, James Lack will, will be very happy with that. Um, this is the history of Clapton here. This is only a five, and this is a double album here. 
sort of like, um, I was, t I was tend to say greatest hits, but it's not really because I only know like one song in it, which is Layla, and um, and and like there doesn't seem to be like anything like after that. Like it all seems to be stuff before um, um, right before like the early 70s because this was probably put out in like about 1973 I'm guessing like I don't really know but it does include his work with Cream and Blind Faith among other um, rap bands that he was in so this is this is definitely like, a good one to have my first Eric Clapton record Next one here is a is an ELO album. I'm still looking to get ELO's second album. I actually saw something in like the record shop, which was it was like a combination of like the first album and like the second album like together. Like it like and um, I got both out al both albums by just like um um rap. I decided like, not to get that because I wanted like a real nice proper copy of of the second album. But I saw this instead, and this is ELO. The the night the lights went on in Long Beach. This is a live album by ELO. And um, I, I like it's fairly interesting. I mean, they do have a um, quite early one here, recorded in, in 1974. They do a version of Day Chip here by the Beatles, which is a quite good version, I have to say. Um, not as good as the original, of course. And then, and then like the other songs as well, Showdown, One Effect Here, Overture. So this is a pretty, pretty good concert, I have to say. And also now, my first ever record by The Who. And um, like, I was actually um, 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 I was surprised by how cheap this was. This was Meaty BT Bing and Bouncy by The Who. And this is Greatest Hits Collection. This was a five up, so I thought I'd definitely have to have that. And um, and like, I don't know, this is pretty much, um, where, like, and, like, I was like the early stuff in it, so like, because I think this was released 1970. So, um, so all like the stuff um, prior to that is like on here. Well, I got like, and well, most of like the big hits are on here, so I can't explain. The kids are all right. Um, Pimple Wizard, Substitute, so a lot of, lot of great songs in here, so I do, I, I would recommend this album here as well. So that was all the stuff I got at like the Manchester Record Shop. The, um, now I'm going to show some items what I got um, like ages ago at like a record fair. This this must have been get, um, like getting off like a month ago now, but um, but the reason why I like, didn't make a video after that was because I was waiting for like this package to arrive, which I'm going to unbox at the end of this video. So um, right, so anyway, on, on with the items what I got at the record fair. So we have my first ever ELO single. This is Secret Messages here. And the reason why I've been sort of putting off getting ELO singles is, um, is, is like for a few reasons. Firstly, they are quite hard to find at record fairs. They generally just come under 70s rock or 70s pop. And I like really can't be bothered like and um, like, like, like going through like loads of loads of like um like seven inch singles just to come across like maybe one by ELO. But at this record fair they had a separate section for like ELO singles. Not uh, not uh, not too many, but but I decided to get this one here because the song on the B side is Buildings Have Eyes, which I didn't know. Um that like, it's not on like any of the albums, so I'll definitely have to listen to that. Because, um, cause, like with ELO, most of their singles though were backed with um, older songs, like about earlier songs. So, for instance, Wow West Hero has El Dorado on the B side. So, I don't really need to pick up that single because I already have both songs and like the albums while they're on. But this was quite good though because the B side to this is unique to this single. So, um, that was a good one to get. Um, only two pounds as well. So, I thought that was that was a good deal there. Um. Next one we have here is a wing single. Now I have to say I did overpay for this one here. Uh, I just saw it and like I was really into the B side to this one here. This is Live and Let Die, and it is backed with I Lie Around, which is um, um which is like once again like unique to this single package. So um right yeah, so like the only way that you, like um, right, you can like listen to a song um, I Lie Around is by buying this single. So um right, so that's why I got it. But I did pay three pounds for it. I, I did see it for about a pound at like the record shop I went to and but this is in lovely condition just in like the Apple like in like the original like Apple um, sleeve which is in fantastic condition because you often see like, these Apple sleeves they're completely beat up but this one is like a good example of, of like an Apple um, record sleeve so the final single um, we got at the uh, I'll just put that in later Final single we got was um, "Wonderful Christmas Time" here by Paul McCartney. Don't laugh, but um, but I, but I just saw this four pounds. I've never seen it in, in like this picture sleep before, so I thought I'll have that. And um, and like and like once again like, with the song "I Lie Around," um, you can only listen to this song with this single here. It wasn't on any of his albums. So this is "Wonderful Christmas Time" backed with a song "Rudolph the Red Nose um, Reggae." Apparently, is what's on the B side. So probably a load of crap, but still. Good to finally have the single though, because it was one that was missing from like 
from my McCartney Singles collection. So I'll now show you the albums that I purchased at the record fair here. So I was going through like the boxes and that, like, and I had like some stuff that I fancy getting, such as um, Pink Floyd Momentary Lapse of Reason I saw, and I thought, well, I could have that. I've not got that one yet, but but like I was actually drawn to the um, to like the sales section, like the bargain buckets, and um, where there were records for three pounds each or you could get four for a tenner. So I picked out about seven albums what I really wanted from that um, and that, from like these bins, but I decided um, that I would just get four. So these were the four that I'd chosen. So we have um, The Police, Every Breath You Take, and um, The Singles. This is just a Police Greatest Hits collection. I did also see a promo copy of Synchronicity at the record fair, like a promo pressing of it, but they're asking £8 for that, and I couldn't bring myself to pay that. So I just got this one instead here. How's it go? Like the songs I know and love on air, Roxanne Message in a Bottle, and um, Every Breath You Take, and um, like all, like all like the usual songs are on here. So that's really cool. Next one here, on, um, by a really underrated band. I did see a few of their other albums, but I decided just to get this one here, because it's probably like, um, like the most well known out of like, the ones that I had. It is 10CC, the original soundtrack, and this is this is a um, um, yeah, quite good al al album, I have to say. It has a song, I'm Not In Love, on it, which was a very big hit in like, the 70s, probably like the signature song, but by no means were they a one-hit wonder, because um, cause, like, also on Sam here, they have, um, um, they have Life Is A Minestrone is on here, which was a top 10 hit, and like, they have like, loads of other songs beside that as well so um right so this is like really cool to have here i've now got most of 10 cc's albums i only really need to get the first one and then like a few of like the later ones as well but they didn't really make that many albums like actually like um that together and um, next one we have is paul simon greatest hits etc now um now i i, I didn't really need to get this album this album this album to be honest with you because um, his greatest hits, I do already own most of these songs, or like the actual albums, what they're on. But the reason why I, and the reason why I got this one cause, cause, is because this is in the shrink wrap, as you can probably see here, like on the back as well, shrink wrapped. So I thought, well, what the hell, £2.50, I'll get this one here. So this this isn't the gatefold edition, because actually, I, I, um, I got like the record shop I went to, I saw a version of this album here, but it had a gatefold with the lyrics on it. But with this one here, instead you get the lyrics on this insert thing here. So, so that's quite interesting. And like the shrink wrap is great as well to have. So, um, well, I got for two pounds fifty. I mean, um, it's, uh, I, 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 I also think that this was like a good purchase. So, Paul Simon greatest hits. And the final thing I got was actually the first record what I saw again in that like, three pound bids, and like was what made me like and um, and um, that look through to find like the other records what I wanted. It is Electric Light Orchestra out of the blue. So um right, so I saw this uh, three pounds. I was a bit skeptical because there can be loads of things what can go wrong with this album here. Like I mean, like you can have versions with only um, that one record in them. Like I know like, like, and, like that happened to um, that to James Lack. Um, you could have ones without the posters, without the inner sleeves. But I um, like examined this copy and like it was pretty good. I mean, there's a, um, the actual sleeve is a bit worn at the bottom and like the top, but it's and like and, and, and like it was sort of coming away at the bottom a little bit. I have to glue it up again, but it's it's just a fantastic, fantastic copy. I have to be honest with you. So we have the inner sleeves here, featuring the arms here on Jet Records. So there we are. Um, the condition wasn't the best, but I do have a playing copy of it in the in the Four Light Years box set, what I've got up there. So like, that's a copy of what I played, but I mostly just got this one here for like, the fantastic artwork that comes with this, al this album here. So at the end of sleeves here, and then um, I won't show the other record, but it does have the other record with it, thankfully. And um, we also get the poster as well here. So for £2.50, this was like fantastic. I mean, we have the poster in as well, what came with the album. Unfortunately, no spaceship, but I mean, um, 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 like most copies of this album don't come with like the spaceship. It's only like the really early ones. And like you're generally asking about in the region of about £20 for like that, which I'm not really prepared to pay. Like as much as I love ELO, the records really aren't like, on like worth like, um, like £20, I mean, um, it's a bit, it's a bit much for this album here. So, um, um, and like even like the new repressions of this album don't come with a spaceship. But I am more than happy with this. I finally have a copy of it. 
and um, like, I'm like, yeah, it's just, just, just a fantastic album. So now um, on to um, unboxing this thing here, what has arrived. So I ordered this on the on the uh, oh my god, about like the the twelfth of of June, and I um, I was coming from like America, and um, I was gave about two weeks. I knew that I was going away, and um, like I like it had like the delivery estimate was from Monday the twenty second to Monday the 29th, and I knew that I was leaving on Monday the twenty ninth. So that's all that I like, and um, that leads up to that day. I was hoping that it would like arrive, but it didn't. I, I then and um, went away on holiday, came back today to find that it had arrived, and like it says on like the little sticker thing, arrived on Monday the 28th. So I was a little bit annoyed, but I am going to open it live now. I know what's in it, but um, because um, because I ordered it, of course. But and it is quite rare. It is it is like a grail find for me if like like if like you want to use that term. So. Just get open down the side here. Trying to do this live unboxing thing of it. Yeah. So very hard packaging to get into, I have to be honest, but once we're into it here, you should see the album. So is it here? Quite, that is shocking. Look, that that's the album in there, and that's how it's packaged. I mean, for package protection, that is pretty bad. I must be honest. But here it is. This is Paul Simon's surprise on vinyl. <laughs> now, I, now, I, now I know this might be a bit of like an anti climax for people like who like maybe like expected like a rare McCartney album, but this is really really special for me because this is a very rare al album for Paul Simon. Um, released in 2006, this album um, basically um, is very hard to get. You can't get it like in Britain. It was only ever manufactured in like the United States, and like um, and like it's definitely like a really really hard album to get on vinyl. So I just show you everything what you get with it here. So that's there. So in here we do have the the album. This is the there's an insert with it here. I thought that this was at the inner sleeve, but it's not. It's just an insert with it here. Uh, so lyrics, yeah, yeah, the lyrics on here, and then there we have the album here, just in this plain white sleeve here. And I, I still can't believe I finally have a copy of this one here. Well, I mean, well, I say finally, but I just sort of stumbled across this one on eBay. It was, it was, it was very much like I was actually like, looking for something else. But I saw this at uh, it was thirty-five dollars. I think I paid about twenty-three pounds. And um, I had to pay in like US dollars as well, but um, but this is just fantastic, and um, and like I'm going to re review this album like fairly soon because because I like, absolutely love it. So so I'm, so I'm chuffed to have a copy of this finally. So hope you have enjoyed this vinyl update video. I will be back to doing more regular videos again, and um, as always, leave suggestions down below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.